Yo, what's up, YouTube? It's LV's Tactical. Thanks for tuning in. This will be considered segment one of an overview of my pistols, and I'll definitely be bringing you segment two for more of my pistols. Um, please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll keep bringing the heat. Arm score, Rock Island, 1911. Um, this pistol has a parkerized um, tactical finish, like a matte black coating. Um, very beautiful finish, actually. I love the finish. Comes with a seven round, or two seven round magazines. Safety check, there's nothing here. Everything's all clear. Um, I believe the barrel length here is 3.62. So this, this 1911 is geared for people who prefers to conceal and carry a 1911 at this particular size. Um, does feature a skeletonized trigger and hammer. As you can see, got the trigger and the hammer. It has rubber checker grips. And actually these grips feel pretty damn good actually. They feel pretty good. Um, and now also, as you may know, uh, 1911 platform here with the cock and lock feature. Safety. It keeps it from firing. And actually has a grip safety. Company with the beaver tail, of course. Grip safety. And of course you have to depress the grip safety along with the trigger in order, in order for it to fire. So um, I think it's safety oriented. Just gotta be careful when handling this type of uh, platform. But um, it's really just all around just a, an excellent shooter. Um, it's chambered in 45 ACP. And amazingly the recoil is very smooth, um, crisp, trigger pull it's really amazing i mean as you may know 1911s um wonderful triggers um and this particular model also has worn tactical sights black blacked out rear sight front front um dovetail type sight so um sights are blacked out pretty decent sights i like them i like them um overall great gun Something else that I purchased too was the eight round extension. Just give you another one to round the capacity there. Sort of protrudes, but hey, no, it's pretty good for the range, of course. Great shooter, very crisp shooter. Excellent gun, especially for the price. All right, we've got another favorite of mine. This is the um, the Airx Rex Zero 1S full size pistol, Slovenian made, imported by the fine group of Las Vegas. Very beautiful pistol. 17 plus one capacity. All steel metal frame. All steel. This is all steel gun. Very has a lot of weight to it. Safety check.
Nothing's in a chamber. Okay. Again, beautiful gun. Um, as you can see, it's sporting the TLR1 stream light, which produces 1200 lumens. Um, manual safety, ambidextrous for uh, left or right handers, whichever. It features a white dot sight system. Pretty basic, but uh, decent sights. I would probably prefer night sights, which I'm probably going to be doing. I'm not sure. Or well, I just may, no, may leave them as is, unsure. But um, the grips on here are pretty decent. Some people don't like them, but I mean, I find them okay. Pretty stylish, yeah, they, they, they work, they work. Uh, what else we have here? You can kind of sort of consider this to have a six hour type trigger on here too. This reminds me of my uh, P229 that I have. But uh, actually it's a pretty good, pretty good, pretty good uh, trigger overall. As you can see, it has a expanded wide trigger guard for people to, you know, who wear gloves or whatever the case is. So you can get your finger up in there real, real good. Okay, the decopter feature, as you can see the hammer is lowered. This will enable you to safely disengage the hammer. As you can see, we're able to disengage the hammer without firing. Cool safety feature. Again, it's a single action, double action, so um, by it being the double action mode, heavier trigger pull, I wanna say it's about what, 13 and a half or whatever pounds, I'm not sure, something like that. Um, just a great pistol overall. Past rigorous natal testing, more than 30,000 rounds fired, life expectancy with a 30,000 round uh, count. Um, it actually beat out the P226 six hour in a torture test so this this particular pistol is, a, is really a good gun for the budget i mean for you know for, for a great buy i wouldn't necessarily call it a budget gun but it's it's you know it's mid-range good you know good price but overall very enjoyable to shoot the aesthetics is gorgeous love it uh also I bought a plus two extension for 20 rounds. So that'll give me 20 plus one. Let you see how that look. Again, gorgeous gun, I love it. Bought it recent, had it for like a month or so, I believe. But that's it for that one. Next up, it's another great gun. Um, this is a Kenic, or should we call it the Janic TP9SF uh, subcompact. This is the uh, Elite One Series, 15 plus one capacity. Let's go ahead and do a safety check. Not just on a pipe. It's gonna feature a steel slide with the polymer grip module, the lower. Uh, what else we have here? Picatinny rail for light or laser accessories. For those who uh, choose to put anything else, you know, one of those things on there. It's chambered a nine millimeter. One thing I noticed about this gun too as well is it has a long uh, slide release. This piece right here. So it's very easy to, to maneuver. And it's actually uh, ambidextrous. As you can see on the other side as well, it's ambidextrous. This is a striker fire pistol. Um, doesn't have a manual safety per se to engage, but it does have a safety within the trigger itself. As you can notice the red piece in the center of the trigger also, it has another 
nice uh, safety um, feature, which is the loaded chamber indicator. So if there's something in the pipe itself or, no, in the chamber, this protrudes up. This piece here pops up. Um, worn tactical sights. Blacked out rear sight. Fiber optic red sight. Front sight. Uh, great shooter, shoots flat, and it's quite accurate. Actually, this gun is very, very fun to shoot, surprisingly. Uh, great budget pistol. I really enjoy it. I got it a couple of months ago. Um, haven't looked back. Very nice pistol. Solid internals. Um, well made. Alright guys, last but not least, for my lineup, this is actually my second um, purchase, gun purchase. This is the um, Glock 19 Gen 4, and this is essentially the baby brother to the Glock 17 full size. This model, particular model, is geared toward the uh, concealed carry community. It's a subcompact pistol, chambered a nine millimeter, strike of fire with a 15 plus one capacity. Let's go ahead and safety check. None's in the chamber. But um, this particular model, what made me get it was uh, the actual finger grooves for the comfortability and the contouring of the of the hand itself, getting a, a good purchase on it. Um, this particular model only has restoration, not in the front, it's pretty smooth in the front, just restoration. Um, no safety on it, no manual safety to engage. Um, the safety mechanism is within the trigger itself. So that's pretty much what you have to rely on. That little center piece in the trigger is the actual safety function. So if you depress a portion of this trigger, it will not fire unless you depress the entire, you know, getting getting your finger around the um, entire trigger, which makes it fire. Uh, it has a pinkatini rail, as you can see for your weapons light accessory or laser. This particular model is um, sporty a TLR1 Streamlight, produces 1200 lumens. It is a polymer frame gun, so it's pretty light. It's pretty light, which makes it a good good choice too for uh, concealed carry. Simple um, sight system, white sight system, none fancy, but pretty decent. As you can see, I have it outfitted with the uh, non-slip for the grip. So this gives it an even more aggressive feel, texture. But yeah, I mean, overall, I, I like this. Uh, my first, my second purchase, as I stated, I no longer carry it, but I do take it to the range from time to time. Uh, definitely one of my favorites. Glock 19. Thank you guys for tuning in. This ends this segment. I will definitely bring you another segment for my collection. Um, let me know what you think. You know, like, comment, subscribe. Hopefully you like it. If you don't, that's fine too. Um, maybe next time. Peace out.